All right, everybody, we're going to be getting ready for our stream for Sunday night. We're going to be continuing the Castlevania collection. We're going to start off with the last game in the set, Aria of Sorrow, as that one is, I think, the one that holds up the most. And if we have time after that, we'll return to either Circle of the Moon or start the second game. And tomorrow we'll be beginning Unmetal as the embargo lifts, and I am definitely excited to check that one out. We may uh, bring things up with Unmetal and Guacamelee. We'll see how things go. But other than that, I think we are ready. Hopefully the stream and everything works here. <laughs> so Area of Sorrow became kind of the template after it came out of all the later Metroidvanias, or Castlevania Metroidvanias. And I can already tell you I'm going to have to adjust these settings. Alright, we'll make it... Perfect. Hmm. About a Kerbal Space Program. Alright, so I want this to be attack. I want this to be... Switch the screen. This to be map. So this is the one that pushed the uh, Game Boy Advance. Those bats and... The story of this one is kind of bonkers. It's the future, or we're going to be stuck in 1835. Mm -mm. Also, don't get used to being in Japan. That's going to go away very quickly. I'm sure that bat is not a tell. The bat just flew into the sun. Mm-hmm. Oh, so I just entered Dr. Wily's castle. Whoa, well, indeed. <laughs> oh, and Soma has to pose no matter what he's doing. Oh, we're in the solar eclipse. That makes sense. Nope. It's like this. An enemy. That's not an enemy. That's more than one enemy. Also, where did I get the knife from?
Why indeed, Soma? No, let's stay here. How convenient. Oh yeah, he has to strut no matter what he does. Alright, so the thing about this game... ...is that we have to steal souls. Mm-hmm. Wait, did my... Did I activate it? Press R to activate. So why are you not working? How can I with this? In the second game, you get like the craziest dash. Die. Oh, there we go. The R was a lie. So powers are assigned to different buttons in this game. And unlike the card system, everybody has a soul. And weapons. Of the Game Boy Advance, or yeah, just the Game Boy Advance uh, Metroidvanias, this one is, I think, the one that's most well regarded. Thank you, Alberto. Somebody drop a soul. It's better. Oh, uh, there are a lot of them. Can I swim? Kind of. Ah, there we go. The backing has begun. I like that Drill Dozer game. Never played the Golden Suns. Come on, you damn enemies, give me your souls. Gotta get those dark souls. Ooh. And I don't think we'll be able to go this way yet. Oh, I got your soul. And the variety of the souls is what really helps this game stand out. I'm also fairly sure I'm wasting my time going this way. Yeah, so we have, that's the up B, that's R, and that's just passive. My whole reward was a steak dinner. Ta -da. Oh, I got your soul again. And this is, of course, the design that would become heavily borrowed by Bloodstain. So you're really free to just mix and match. Oh. The bones. Let's see. 
I'll keep my spear, thank you very much. Oh. oh wait, I can do this. Alright, Merv people. Who's gonna drop your soul? I'll play that one. Where's my cape? I'll keep the luck. We're a whopping 2.8% done. Die. Wish I could aim in different directions. And there's a boss fight. Oh. Do we even get iframes with this? Like the little bats flying in the background. Now we fight the guy who's only known for just being a giant skull. Is he using his own bones against me or somebody else? Oh, he's dead. Never mind. That was easy. Okay. I mean, he had a chance to explain what was going on. He's dead already. Developers are pricing them higher now. Oh, nice. We got the bat. And I believe in this game, I know in the sequel, but you were required to get certain souls in order to get the good ending. Come on, give me some other varieties, game. I didn't want that. I want the, uh... You. And again, take your bets when Double Jump will become a- will become part of our game. Oh. We didn't get Double Jump there, we got slightly Higher jump. Ooh. But you can definitely see why very early on that why this one of kind of experimentations of the three DS Castlevanias was one that got picked up. The fact that now every enemy has purpose in that regard is also better. Also, I have no idea what that thing was that I just fought. Can I make this? Uh oh. Wait. Let's say ability? No. Oh, it's a soul. No wonder. There we go. Cool. Alright, we're on our way. There. Hmm? Wait. No, the boss is over there, that's right. Uh 
Ah, uh, yes. You guys. I think he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Well, it's one to give me their soul. <laughs> yeah, a lot of drops very early on. And yeah, music is always fantastic in these games. Oh. I'm glad I asked you to leave. <laughs> the hearts actually do anything in this other. Hmm. Would like to get a little better range in terms of my weapon. Hmm. That's a giant candlestick. <laughs> Are we grading souls like Undertale? And there's some souls that are just overpowered. Just like in real life, right? Mm, yeah, I'll take the extra with the... Thing I can. Hmm. Oh, I feel like I'm like a pixel off. Sorry, Soma. I'm gonna achieve for three in a row like that. But yeah, all the classics here, I think I would have to go with this being my favorite in terms of the design. The card system would have worked if there were more of them. Which again, this is what kind of turned into this. That eyeball is following me. Oh. Let's see. Hmm. Not the best utility. And want some rotten meat? There you go. Oh. All right. And again, a lot of the souls are just pure gimmicks. But it's just the thought that counts in terms of having all of them. Come on. Yeah, I'm not making it up here yet.
Come on, bird. Where did I pull that rock out of? I think that rock is actually a pretty decent power. Yes, God, catch them all. I ducked. Yes. And I threw a spear into the other bird. Yay. Alright. Ooh. And we have a shop, too. We're getting, like, none of the crazier souls right now. Fish. Oh, good. My reward was five hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure bat is required for the good ending. Oh, did you just go? At this point, actually, no. I've been getting about $60 a month for like a few years now. But I think I've actually earned more than that. But not by much. Never trust the guy in the sharp suit. No, I've got a YouTube ad revenue. I'm mean, getting like sixty dollars a month, I think, or well, about maybe like a year or so now. So maybe I'm like at six. Oh, but well, then taxes have to come out of that. So maybe I'm at like six, seven hundred dollars. <laughs> Yeah, but that's over, I think, at least two years. Oh. Remember, Dracula was murdered in 1999. <laughs> Dracula is Doctor Who. Nice jazzy music here. Mm hmm. So remember, remember when your history, Dracula was murdered in nineteen ninety nine. Are we all off the map yet? Eh, huh? almost. So there is a pattern to this that lets you go slightly faster.
Now I'm gonna just find $100 uh, coins everywhere I go, I'll be set. Only the holy water was overpowered, like in this game. Well, Bell. And we're getting somewhere. Yep. Is this gonna be like the first game where it's gonna take me like eight hours to get the axe armor? Double jump yet? Uh oh. Boom. Boom. Jump on more of those bells. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Oh, huh, there is anything in this area. again. One problem with switching between all these different games is that each Castlevania has different physics for how things work. I love Harmony of Dissonance just because it gives you infinite dash from minute one. There we go. And my big reward for doing that? A sword. And a crappy sword at that. Die. Trying to show off how cool the system is and the game is not giving me anything. Oh, that was a fun little diversion. There's souls you can summon? Oh, hello. Well, the name fit its profile, that's for sure. Uh-oh. Let me get some cool souls. Another casual hundred dollars. Hm. If that people just casually donate a hundred dollars, I'll be set right now. <laughs> just randomly get it. <laughs> I don't think I can jump on these things. My luck stat is broken just like it is in real life. Alright, where is his loot? Why do I feel like this is going to be a crappier weapon? Well, I get slightly more range. There we go. Hmm. 
<laughs> and the axe is a boomerang now. I mean, everything's a boomerang, right? Did we actually get another... No. No, we did not. Someday we'll get another soul to put there. Where's that big guy? Ooh. There we go. We should be coming to the next boss. Ghosts. I think I can hit these things. Mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> Will this boss die before I can explain anything this time? And the bosses have definitely gotten easier as the series went on, I think. Ooh. As I'm close to dying. There we go. Now I know what those things are that are like rolling around. And our reward is nothing. Ah, uh, the fleas. I really like the uh, rock throwing power. Hello. That zombie got a promotion. We're over 10%. Should be a save around here. Die. Yep, yeah, and not much to say structure wise about this one. If you played Harmony of Dissonance and Circle of the Moon, I just got hit by a broom. And the basics should be just well known to you. The difference, I think, is just the level of polish. I got a Bastard Sword. Is that a D mod? There we go. No guns. Dracula doesn't b believe in guns. There's lots and lots of swords and knives. Ooh. Ooh. I can't believe he hit me there. Ooh. What do you think about the Pixar in this one? I got your soul already, buddy. Another mainstay of these games is having enemies have over-elaborate death animation sometimes. And they have to yell when they die, too. Why this bone pillar hasn't given me its soul yet? And 
And the best part, I don't need an upgrade in order to push a box anymore. Someone was already strong enough to do that. But I don't think I'm high enough to make that jump. I'm gonna be slightly off. <laughs> That's a great power, isn't it? There we go. Let's get my own little Pokemon. And the best part is I can't control them. Die. Get down here, you screaming ghosts. Another bull. Don't want to get cursed by these guys. Oh, well, we're off the grid. In Bloodstain, there are some crazy combinations you could get. And some souls are just overpowered. A secret watermelon. That was uh, worth hiding behind a fake wall, right? Oh. At least the curse doesn't completely screw me this time. Uh oh. That could have screwed me. What did I just get? It's gonna be super slow, right? Slow weapons are rarely worth it in these games. Unless you get one that's just so powerful that it makes up for a lack of utility. I think it's just a little too slow. Oh, a dollar. Everyone's very interested in Soma. Uh-huh. Well, that's not a... Uh... Reveal, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I wonder what those last two letters are. Aww. <laughs> uh. It's a little hard to go back, I found, uh... Akari. It's probably the most dated in this collection. Well, uh, Soma, you are, like, stealing souls from people. That would kind of clue in that these are dark powers. Sweet. It's like darker Pokemon. Which would be Shin Megami Tensei. Oh, that's a nice coat he's wearing, isn't it? Mm -mm. Aww.
Dun dun dun. Everyone wants to be Dracula. Hm. Mm -mm. Soma is a little too trusting. If you haven't seen Bloodstained, uh, Ritual of the Night. No, wait. Uh, the, the actual Metroidvania one, not the uh, modern retro uh, platformer. That's probably the closest in terms of these mechanics. And hopefully, because Konami sees there's money here, they'll give us the other Castlevanias. And that is a clue book. That will tell us what souls we need to get the good and the true ending. One of them I'm, I am 100% sure is Bat, but I don't remember the other two. I just backstab that wheel. This flea guy is a little too unpredictable, but he's just so fun to have, isn't he? Oh. Hello. And there's our Minotaur, who's usually a boss fight. Um. um this one is pretty good. I think this one holds up the best. The other two, they are a little bit, I think, dated in terms of their design. But they are basically just like different flavors of the same kind of gameplay. Is this thing going to hit me if I get too close? No. Hey. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, you little flea guy. Can you just fight, please? And Bloodstain was, of course, created by... Uh, the developer who did Symphony of the Night, or one of the big names of it. She hit me with a cat. Ooh, the whip sword. Or that was Sword Cane from Bloodborne. Yeah, this is where they get, like, very creative with the different weapons, too. Crack that sword. Yeah, I did. I really like them. I think I like them more than the Bloodstain, to be honest. Alright. Oh, well, we fought a giant, uh... Ooh, skeleton. Now we fight giant armor. Ooh. Go, my little guy. Uh oh you can see the level of detail has been improved as well. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, if you're looking for, you know, spiritual successor to Castlevania, the Bloodstain is going to probably be your best bet for that exact design. Oh, I could have just stayed there. There we go. These bosses are, like, so much easier compared to Circle of the Moon. Oh. And this is like the only real sense we got this game takes place in modern times. The army is gonna help us fight Dracula. I thought the car system had potential, but I felt that there just were too few cards. I think a sequel with like a far, far greater expanded deck would have been amazing. Not armies, the army. What is this guy, Wario? 
So he's going to sell us weapons. And my soul... Oh. Uh, at 44 minutes in, we've officially gotten our double jump. The game is now truly a Metroidvania. I think it, by law, you must give the player a double jump within the first hour of gameplay. Or you get tax from the uh, Metroidvania people, right? Whee. Yeah. Ooh. Nice dodge by me. Yeah. I think her spell will just like she just we throw cats at people. Yeah. Alright, we can't go down. Apparently Soma doesn't know how to slide. Oh, you just keep tossing these guys. There we go. <laughs> Toss all the little flea men. Oh, and another one. Oh. What the hell is she spitting at me? Or do I really want to know? The only... one of these games I have yet to actually beat would be Order of Exia. Excelsia? That's when they really went back to difficulty in terms of these designs. Is there one else I can get, I can get up there? And get over there. See, now I can push that box down. Hmm. Also, it feels like there's more save points in this one compared to Circle. Or just be the castle itself maybe a little bit smaller. Let's see. Whipsword. Is this the sword that I think it is? Yep. Usually I like these more wider swing weapons. I'm like right in his damn hitbox. Oh. Mm -hmm. I wanted like those anniversary like uh, things that they put out for this. And he has a soundtrack too. Oh. Mm. Let me go back to the whip sword. Can't be range in these games. Usually there's like one like super wide sword that's so overpowered. Alright, we're here. Can't I think I can go to the right. You and you. Yeah, I should be able to make that. Better be with a double jump. I already got the hammer. Damn. Just not enough. Okay, so from here... We can explore this whole area and then start making our way back to the left. I can't believe we're almost a quarter of the way down this castle. I we play like an hour of Circle of the Moon, we were only like 15%. Oh my little flea guy, go. Alright, we go to the left. Here are you. Ooh. 
You're no match for my army of fleas. Did I just get something even longer? Hmm. I feel like the whip sword still is a little bit better. And the variety of weapons in this one, I think, kind of puts it over the top. Hmm. I can't believe I just countered his rock. And these enemies have been like the Nightmare of Castlevania fans for years. That ghost. Yup. Hmm. Die? <laughs> and another game that is perpetuating the, the fact that we can just murder ghosts, right? Oh, good. There's our first checkpoint. We'll use that in a second. Anything else in here? Just have the room to the right. <laughs> yeah. At least in these games, you're strong enough that eventually you can just, like, one-shot them. Ooh. A nice silk robe. But I think any Castlevania fan can agree that the biggest nightmare of the classic games were the, uh, Hawks, who would also toss flea men at you. Ooh. I don't think I can make that. Well, so how do we get the soul of something that's already dead? Oh, never mind. Ooh. And that is just a passive soul. So as long as it's on, we get its bonus. The thing that I did like about Bloodstain was that you can upgrade your souls based on getting multiple copies. <laughs> All right, so from here, die. I really need to get rid of the flea guy, though. He's just too weird for us to really make use of. And I hope there's not a staircase or a door at the end of this. <laughs> oh, a puppet. That puppet does not want to die. There we go. And he just hides $50 in his candlesticks. Dracula is loaded, isn't he? got his doll. Or got the soul. What the hell? Ooh, are there those punchy? Uh, oh. <laughs> In Bloodstain, the uh, martial arts track was actually very overpowered for that final boss. Alright. I'm gonna go punch a bat. <laughs> I really wanna see what this doll actually does. Oh god, that's such short range. Does it even do anything? Aw, I made a little doll. <laughs>
We got one, we might as well buy the second. Anything that is... It's not bad. Scimitar... We don't want the money for it, that's for sure. Let's see. Hmm? It's not too bad. I'm not going to use the spear, so we might as well... I want to get a second map. Hmm. I'll take this. Yeah. In Blood Sane, you get to craft your weapons or upgrade stuff like that. So you can't really like get rid of all your items. You never know what's going to be of use. All right, there we go. I have a feeling we'll have to swap this out. Okay, there's a door down there. I know we can't go to the swimming route yet. Yeah, I think this doll is just not gonna do anything. I mean, we can't punch a zombie then. What kind of game are you? And we're already getting to the fact that how I move through these levels is changing by the nature that we have these upgrades. Oh, I miss a save room all the way back here. Eh. It's easy to make a lesser Metroidvania, I would say. Making a good one takes a lot of work. Because you have to combine not only the 2D design, but also build areas that can make use of different paths, different abilities. Like, probably the, ki the current king of this would be something like Hollow Knight, of like the Metroidvania design template. Or Ori. Ori or Hollow Knight, I think, are both very fantastic games. Uh, do I have to go up there? Alright. And people definitely expect a lot out of these designs these days, too. I just punch an eyeball. Can I make this? Oh, well, I'm here, so I guess we're gonna find out. Mm, no. And I'm pretty sure we can't go this way. No. Nope, not yet. Turn to punch out. Boy, that plus four luck will actually mean something. Nice moon in the background. See, now I can go over here. Mm hmm. You gotta make the uh, moment to moment really stand out in terms of feel. 
I'm killing with his own weapon. <laughs> well, I do like uh, punching type weapons, I just don't think it's gonna help us in the long run. Ah, uh, there we go. Now we got a big old spear. I'm pretty sure there's a soul in this game that prevents you from getting staggered. Because usually there's one of that in these types of titles. Oh. <laughs> so many death animations in this game. So we're over here, we have to go through this whole section, and then work our way back to the right. Remember, every castle needs a uh, dance hall. Yeah, I don't know if there is like any kind of like pre-made system for Metroidvanias. Another fantastically dressed character in this castle. Hmm. I should have done this too. Not give my first name out. It's gonna be Jay. Hmm. <laughs> I have amnesia. <laughs> Somebody has that amnesia. <laughs> Mr. Chad, I just read that like the uh, Joker from Batman. <laughs> Soma's not the uh, fastest character here, is he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love how we go the same direction as him and we'll never see him again. Ghosts. Even the ghosts are like dressed in like uh, trench coats. <laughs> Alright, we'll go down first. Oh, oh. Oh, hey, buddy. If I remember, his soul is very overpowered. There was a door. I think it's over there. Oh yeah, that's where I see. It. I think his soul just gives us like a giant arm that comes out of our body that we use to beat up people with. Also, that was a wooden golem. That was soul. those dolls again. Oh. He did not want to go down there. Yeah, it was hidden under... I don't think I can get that without getting the slide. See, the one advantage of having a longer weapon, you can really just mitigate a lot of these threats before they even start their attack. Look, he's wheeling that like one hand in way he's crouching. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Come on, can we get a new soul? Oh. 
Another uh, giant sack of money. Is there anything down here? No, we have to go the other way. I do miss not having the bomb screen, like, informational UI. That was such a great feature of the DS. Double kill. <laughs> that is some range. Oh, uh oh. Oh, we got him. Come on, play. I want your soul too. Jeez. That was a reaction dodge right there. This guy again. Yeah, no ducking yet. <laughs> Different shades of butcher. Will they actually give up their soul? The one pain of going for the true ending in this game, not only do you need to know what the three souls are, you also need to get them. Not yet, at least. I have to imagine we're going to get it fairly soon. Who is this? Oh, hello. I'm noticing a pattern <laughs> of like all the balls just being like jumbo sized versions. Ow. It's the ever popular very slow, but just like touching him does like 800 points of damage. Poke. Oh. I think he's been drinking down here. No, yo. Oh, I land on his damn hand. And again, there's another nice thing about range. Yeah, I think this is where we get slide. Let's see. Yeah, I was right. Oh, I'm not sure what's going with that fog over there. So now we can get the item, we can go up, but we also have to go to that door in the bottom right. Because that's where Clue 1 is. <laughs> well, how much of those uh, bottles of wine from uh, Resident Evil 8 costs? <laughs> I don't think the wooden golem actually gives us a, an attack. I think it's more of a passive. Oh. 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 Like I was saying earlier, now we just gotta hope that they do the DS Castlevanias and um, Rondo of Blood and Simeon of the Night, and then we're good. Come on, I really want to get his weapon or his soul. Yeah, some souls very easy to get. Other ones you gotta get lucky. Or just build yourself 
to have a high luck to try and uh, overtake. <laughs> Alright, one more time. If I wasn't playing this on stream, I would probably spend more time uh, soul farming. Oh, that was very quick. Alright, now I can get that... If I can jump out here, I can get that weapon. Go left. Ow. Let's see. Eh, I think I'll keep the spear. Kill all these ghosts again. Ta da! Don't think I can make that. Nope. Alright, we gotta go the other way. Army jacket. Is that better than war fatigues? <laughs> Defense, yes. Attack, no. Where are we here? All right, left is just items. Oh. <laughs> hmm. So kind of like um, what was it? A uh, Valkyrie profile. Oh, the ghost sword. Oh, it's Nemesis. Ah, oh, just the uh, fast travel. So we have to go over there to the right next. And hey, Dark. But not quite yet. They were just a little bit short. <laughs> yeah. I only own uh, the PS2 one, the Lenith. I know they got re-released on the PSP. Ooh, I can get out for her little hurt box. Hmm. I remember the first time I played a Valkyrie Profile Lenin, I thought it was like the greatest system I've ever seen. <laughs> Alright, there's our save. I gotta say, we are moving through this in a fairly good clip. Well, definitely a lot more than Circle. Oh? Somebody give up their soul. Got. Oh. Gotta stab every wall. I'll take it. Another reason why you want to be, again, like, very upset of getting all the souls is to know which ones are going to be used. Uh, that game, Indivisible, that is from the uh, former uh, Skullgirls developer, is also very similar in terms of that style. Really? Nothing else down here. Oh, two again. Oh, 
Oh god. That room could have gotten very annoying. One RPG that I never played uh, wasn't Shadow Hearts. It was the um, the PS One RPG from uh, Square Assault that everyone likes to talk about. Vandal Hearts. Things that I think that's what it was called. All right, we're not making it up here, so we have to go back down and to the right. One of these days, I would love them to re-release Parasite Eve. So I would love to go and attempt to beat that game. They usually pair that flying dude, too. Okay, one down. Mm-hmm. Back in the day, I made it literally to the final section, and then I died, I didn't want to replay the boss fight. So I failed the Metroidvania- uh, not Metroidvania, the Metroid escape. That was good, I landed right on his axe. Alright, so this should be its own area. And a Kung Fu Maid. Wait, oh, I thought that was something I couldn't walk through. Should I be able to make that? There we go. Easy. Like I said, I'm pretty sure we don't have all the souls yet for the good ending. Okay, you, you. Whoa. Shadow Hearts, if you haven't played that. Very underrated RPG. What the? Wait, is this the one that I don't have to look at? No. You need a specific character, I believe, or a specific power to beat the rabbit. <laughs> Wait, can I sit in this? Or is that only in um, Bloodstain? <laughs> yeah, it's something I need to design a game, too. <laughs> uh, Shadow Hearts... There's three of them. Shadow Hearts, Shadow Hearts Covenant, and Shadow Hearts New World for PlayStation 2. Alright, so we're here. I think we're gonna fight a giant bat. Oh no, it's multi-head. This is a creepy concept for a boss, isn't it? Are those magans or other heads behind her? Alright, off with her head. That fancy wig, it's giving him superpowers. Ow. Uh oh. Alright, there's two. 
<laughs> oh, come on. Where are you? Like the, I've got the miracle angle. Alright. Mm. Mm. I don't think I saw that movie. So that soul... Doesn't seem all that useful now. But if we keep collecting characters will be incredibly overpowered, eventually. I have no idea why this character's name is Curly. <laughs> nice clouds. Oh, this. Oh, geez. I didn't even think that was going to happen there. Hmm. Is that like a parallax swirling in the background? Will this be better than our scarf? Yeah, I'll take it. Alright, we're at. I think we're nearing the top here. Then we'll do that. Oh, geez, he got me the wine up. Uh oh, I think a lot out a lot of damage here. And cut that rope. All right, beware the spin. And our reward. Well, we can walk on water now. I think this is a good sword. Poison is always purple or green in these games. Oh, wrong button. Alright, so we have that. We need to return over there at some point. I think we have to get a power that's a stop time. In order to counter the rabbit. And that either takes us to one of the required souls or a clue for the souls. I'm gonna do a, a heal here. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, say what you will about modern day Konami, but. They were one of the kings of the uh, industry back during the 90s and maybe into the early thousands as well. And then they got into Yu-Gi-Oh! and uh, Pachinko games. <laughs> oh. I don't think the poison actually does anything. So this has got to be just a small room. Ow. Nice effect on the mirrors. Uh-huh. Ow.
<laughs> yeah. Uh, Sega, I think, has turned things around a little bit. As long as they keep the Yakuza games coming, right? Oh, wait. Don't I need the... Where is... Oh, is in this? Ah. Uh. Oh. Mm-hmm. I remember when they announced a cancellation of the Dreamcast. Any more souls? Die. Okay, we are going to connect down there. We still don't have the power of swimming. So we can't go to the underwater area yet. One of these things is not going to be like the other, is it? Is there a way to bait that better? Kill the mirror. Alright, there's another fast travel. So, go down. And I can either go to the right. Can't go down there yet. I think our next route is going to either be the one that's kind of like east or southeast. <laughs> oh, random mirror. Again, who hides money in their candlesticks? Oh. All right, go down that connects. Oh. A better weapon. Yeah. Hmm. Is it? Oh. oh. Nice. Poison does a little bit more damage. Or it could just be that the speed helps. Okay, so that connects down. Oh, it's suddenly strong against them. Oh. I'm gonna be killed by one of those cats, right? Okay, so that's the way over there. Let's see what's down here. More healing. Don't try and blow your kisses at me. Down here? Oh, I'm off by one. Alright, if I drop down... That is just gonna be the way out. We'll head back to the right. Surprised I haven't gotten their souls yet. 
For some reason, these the witch uh, models remind me of the characters from um, uh, Ogre Battle. Oh, we made it to the top floor already. Oh, never mind. We can't do the top floor. <laughs> okay, so from here, the two routes open. Anything else over here? <laughs> There's gotta be at least one sucky bus in these games, right? Alright, so just go straight forward. The pain is gonna be backtracking all the way down there. The character from Circle of the Moon, his dash, or his slide, is just overpowered. Yep, I saw my original copy, too. Never beat the game, though. Oh, we're not going this way, so I think we have no choice. Yeah, I go a long way. Not getting that. Oh, guy is save, right? Ugh, it's up there. Will we consider Fire Emblem? A uh, tactical RPG? There are warps. There are the yellow points you see on the map, but as you can see, they are spaced out quite a bit. I always feel in these games that the save points just be the warp points. Cut out the middleman. Nothing we can do over there. I also noticed something else about this game. There have not been any upgrades. Like... Item and stuff like that. Oh, I do not want to eat that. <laughs> I think the zombie power lets you eat raw food. Yeah, I don't remember when the first Fire Emblem came out. Not over here in the United States, but just like out, I think, in Japan. Because I think that was fairly early 90s. So there's something in this room. I don't think I can make it over there, though. Oh. Oh. One thing that's kind of interesting is when they refill rooms with new enemies. Oh, I did this already? I think I can get anything else in this room, however. No. Uh oh. There we go. Hmm. No. I think Final Fantasy Tactics was PlayStation 1. Over Battle was SNES. But it was fairly late SNES. I want to say 94 or 95. Alright, we gotta go all the way down and around and all that. <laughs> I think Shark's only about his game, Chromasia. Unless Shark's a time traveler and he released the game back in 1995. I still don't want these guys. Alright, now I can push this. Make this. Oh, 
Was that worth it? A little bit more luck can't hurt us, right? That is a very good question, Char, because I can't think of one named Chromasia. But as I was saying on Twitter, what we need now that they're the uh, remastered Act Razor, we need the whole set. We need a Soul Blazer, Illusion of Gaia. And, um, what was it? Uh, Terror Enigma. Hmm. I always thought the Castlevania games were not so much hit or miss, but you had to really be into them, I guess, to play them. Especially since their designs never really change all that much. Either it was very similar or they just went like complete 180s. Like going from 2D to 3D. And then going to the Metroidvania design. Alright. So Ancient Book. That is our clue. It's a demon from Hellfire. So we need a demon... That shoots fire. Oh, good. Well, that's great. Well. I just wasted five minutes. <laughs> Alright, we need some more classic games to talk about while I run my way back up. Never played the Shining Force games. That and Fancy Star were kind of like my blind spots for the uh, Genesis. Wait. I can play them on the uh, Genesis collection, right? Oh, actually, that just reminded me of something very important. I need to download the uh, ROM for Fantasy Star 1 for the Sega Genesis collection so I get the whole set. Oh. And even with the luck, I am not getting the souls. Up. If I warp, eh. mm. can't go there yet. Can't go there. Yet. I need to warp to the left, right? Climb up. Okay. Hmm. Breath of Fire, I remember playing a few of them back in the day, but I did not... The only one of those that I beat was Dragon Quarter. I'm still pissed that nobody has done, like, a Breath of Fire Dragon Quarter spiritual successor. Terra Enigma, I have the ROM for it, but I have not beaten that one. But I did beat Illusion of Gaia... And Soul Blazer. Ah, I thought I could bounce on that. Oh, Lunar. I've heard so much about Lunar, I... I don't think I've played any of those. Am I going the right way? Yeah. Alright, let's see if I can stump you guys with this one. Super Nintendo... Oh wait, before I do that, Seven Saga, very underrated RPG. 
But here's one that I always like to stump people with. There was a Super Nintendo game that was like pinball meets like fantasy world. Like you run around a field and you hit like a glowing orb at enemies. Yeah. I miss out on the Sega CD and the 32X too. Yeah. Uh, mm hmm. Such a wacky RPG. I don't think we've ever seen other games do that whole, like, multiple protagonists and they all kind of fight each other kind of design. Alright, I'll go right and then down. I'm not going to save it, just in case. Mm -hmm. I need to buy that Secret of Mana... Uh, what's it? The uh, remaster or the Trials? Oh wait, I gotta buy all of those at some point. The uh, Legend of Mana... The Legend of Mana I really want to play, because I own... I rented the PS1 version of it and I never beat it. Hmm. Alright, where am I doing? Oh, yeah. There we go. That power just had, like, two functions this entire game. Yeah. Alright, so then this takes us to the underwater. Oh, nope. Oh no, we are like far the hell away from that underwater from here. That's a giant uh, rooster. Not just a rooster, he has stone laser eyes. Yeah, at least Wayne is really good. Oh, yeah. I saw my original. Never beat Secret of Evermore. The furthest I've always managed to make it in that game is the second uh, world, the Greek world. Wait. How the hell did I get over here? Oh, we're warping. Anybody home? There you go. Hmm. Yeah, I only tried that once as like the demo. I need something that's a little different. Well, that's not doing it. Kung Fu Werewolf. What the? Kill you. Alright, so then these here just connect. Yeah. PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 was definitely a uh, golden age of games. Never played uh, the Star Oceans. I didn't get into Dragon Quest until seven. Where was the PS2 one?
But yeah, I would definitely say like PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 is where like Squaresoft was king. Maybe more PlayStation 1 SNES, because it wasn't PlayStation 2 when they got when Square Enix was formed. Strut, so much strut. Oh god, this is gonna be a nightmare to remember where I've been. Oh. Come on, werewolf, give me your soul. Oh. oh. And there's the devil. Only the devil's what we're looking at for a soul. Ow. Ow again. What else is over here? Hmm. I don't remember what the other two souls are. For the finale. Where am I? We were down there to then go up. No? Huh? I really hope we got everything we need here. Uh oh. Again, don't trust this guy. Is he technically wearing white after Labor Day? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, folks. If you're born on the same day that somebody else died, you get to become that person. <laughs> know when the character gets his, um, when their portrait changes, they're evil. Hmm. Huh. See, Shar, you never know where you're gonna find <laughs> people these days who will play and try out your games. Oh, good. Spike time. Uh oh. Remember, it's not a Castlevania. There's not a clock tower, gears, and some kind of spikes. No, I just walked through that goal. I didn't even see them. I could use a save. This isn't a save, it's a cutscene. <laughs> there you go, Shark. You just became even more famous. <laughs> oh, 
Again, nobody stays around to help us, do they? Ooh. Oh, whew. It's even the Medusa heads have souls. No swimming yet. Pretty nice here. Oh. Come on. I'm surprised how few souls we've got. Yeah. <laughs> We're just having bad luck in terms of getting stuff. Why is every time I equip the plus luck items, I'm very unlucky? Hmm. Hmm. Sneeze got in the way of fighting. <laughs> Yeah, now look at Gremlin and me. <laughs> oh. Spike's very scary in this game. <laughs> Just the same character model is a different color. This is obviously not the way we want to go yet. Let's see. Oh. Oh, we need to go the other way and hit the wrecking ball. Uh, time check, it's a little after 11. We have about, I would say, 90 minutes or so. Possibility on us getting to the end. Oh, ow. Oh, that was a miracle pixel right there. We could do there is interest after these damn lazy keep stop kicking me. Is we'll do unmetal and more Castlevania tomorrow. Oh, we're already at the boss. Wait. It can't be right. I mean, that much of a... No, we have to go... This map is completely borked. Hm. Is this death? Yep, 
It's death. Remember, another Castlevania standby. You have to fight death. So there you go, that's how you make a Castlevania game. There has to be a clock tower, you have to fight death. Dracula is optional. Ooh. I keep running into his scythe. Uh oh. And most likely I'm gonna die here. Ooh. I need a wider weapon. Uh oh. Oh, come on, wasn't even moving. <laughs> oh. Should be able to take one of what we have right now. Maybe go for a slightly wider weapon, though. They're far more pay to win now. Slower, but just a tiny bit longer. That was a horrible miss. Oh. Alright, this is better so far. Hello, Titus. Uh oh. I hope this death doesn't have multiple forms. I do not trust walking underneath the scythe. Is he phased? Boom, boom. Oh. Death is always annoying in the Castlevania. Boom, 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 boom. I can't use the uh, holy water trick from the original here. I want to say he's close. Oh, good. And then Dev gets his Ultra Scythe. Uh oh. Woo! Oh. That is a bad Scythe. Oh. Not good. Jeez. Ooh, tough. <laughs> What's that painting supposed to be of? Alright. And we're about halfway. Let's go for Headhunter. Hmm. Go for you. What do I want? I don't think that's gonna help. <laughs> Over spears. <laughs> That's not gonna do some damage, is it? Boom. It's a three stage fight. Boom. Boom. Okay, so he starts tossing the death laser. I know he's in phase two. Yet. All right, now we're in phase two. Oh. Huh. He 
He's mixing it up. Oh, come on. Alright, there's phase two. I'm enjoying them. They are a little bit dated in terms of their design. And that's like the most dated, it's just like their hitboxes. Oh. Or having their whole body be a hurt box. Mm. I'm gonna use a potion here. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think I have anything else longer. To hit him with. Alright, so that is not a hitbox. Uh oh. Ooh. Oh, don't back up. Yet. Nope. There we go. I knew he was about to do that maneuver. Death is always the, uh, the difficulty spike in these games, I've noticed. How the hell did that not hit me? Oh. <laughs> Are anything better in terms of potions? Unfortunately, I'm going to just buy more from the uh, hammer. No bait that time. Got And we murdered death. <laughs> oh my god, I almost got Kaizo there at the end. What does death give us? Okay. And now we can swim. <laughs> Alright, uh, let me go back to my other weapon. I did not think that was going to happen. Okay. I need a better up attack. I just have not got anything worth. Let's see, what about you? That's not too bad. Which game? Oh, the uh, Judge Dread game? Looks interesting. Haven't really paid too much attention to it. Alright, uh, can't go to the left. Oh, Metroid. Metro games are always <laughs> impressive here, at least the ones that we've seen lately. How do I get up there? At least it doesn't, hopefully it doesn't turn like other M. That didn't do the damage. Anyone here play that, uh, Fell Seal game? 
that came out like late last year. It looked like it was going to be like an impressive like Metroidvania style game. But just did not, it, but it just didn't seem to be like doing anything amazing with it. Oh nice. I want to save because I don't want to fight death again. And note to self, next chance we get, head back to the store and just load up on potions. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. Just missed out on the armor. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take it for a little extra. Drop you. And I can swim. Are there. S That's still not the guy I think we want this soul. Alright, where am I right now? Yeah, it seemed okay. Didn't really do anything like original, though. Die. See, we need more souls for Headhunter to start working. And we're not getting them. To the left. Right should connect us back down. Can't go left yet. We still need to go back to the hanging garden section. Oh yeah. Oh god. Oh good. It's super me Castlevania. Work better than I thought it would. Hmm. I love that the pitch black suit is more protective than iron armor. No problem getting out of here, I'll get turned to stone. So, since we have someone on chat who played Chromasia, I need to ask. Um, who here else is playing Library of Runa? <laughs> Which game is rarer? Alright, Akari, thanks for watching. Yeah, uh, feel free to subscribe, and we do have a Discord channel in all the descriptions of our streams and such. Where am I going? To the right. You. Even the needles have souls. Again, Castlevania games always have fantastic music, and I did not want to fall. I mean, you would think that one of the ultimate souls of Dracula would be the Medusa, because it's so damn annoying. I'm trying to be more consistent with the game stream starting around 9 p.m. And there's a new archive channel that holds all the streams. As well as like more of my just like general gameplay footage too. Really, I've been going to these same rooms over the last 20 minutes. Die. Alright. 
Left is the shortcut out. Oh, good. This is my opportunity to head back here. And buy like 10 different potions just to have a backup. I don't think he's going to have any new weapons for us, but I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. Is it a 40k hammer? Let's stop trying lands. Oh, God. Well, we know what sword to get, that's for sure. The second soul in the game, and I still, still can't get it. Okay. Those routes connect. I still need to go down, and I still need to do the rest of the Hanging Gardens. Only well, to break up a, a few more candlesticks for that, right? Any more skeletons here? Or zombies? Ah, uh, yes, we're just one-shotting all these enemies now. <laughs> Am I here yet? Yes. I saw an interesting, like, RPG. That demo's coming out soon. R7? The whole thing is just like, you go back and forth on a uh, line, and the different events on the tiles. It's like very much like Loop Hero, almost, but I think with a far simple, the simplified design. Alright, why can't I go to the right? Oh, this is, that has to connect over there, alright. So... Let's try and do this in order. We're still missing the other two souls. Oh. If I go up, to let that warps us. <laughs> I still need to play the other game. Oh, not these guys again. That Lobami Corporation again. See how I make some progress there. <laughs> I didn't want to slide. Oh, we are not going this way. So there's a question. Can anyone think of another RPG that was similar to Seventh Saga? Because I cannot. And one of these days we have to go back and see what we can do with the uh, uh, the other Dead Risings, too. This is a 
very annoying area to navigate. What about 8th Saga? Oh, another series I missed out on? The Suikoden games. I've only played like one or two of them. Not really. You choose a protagonist at the start, and the other protagonists become your rivals for the rest of the game. Where is this going to send me? Oh god, how do I get over here? There's that devil again. And then how you dealt with the people, they will either become allies or they'll try and stop you. And the cast was just kooky. You had a mutant, a robot, an alien. And there's, I think, a few other ones. What the hell is this? Oh, nice. Wait, up and B, that can't be right. Yeah, it, it's from, I'm pretty sure it's from Enix. What the hell are you doing? Oh, the Mandragora. Man Mandragora. I do love how we got this guy's soul literally first go. And then there's guys I've been killing like hundreds of. And we haven't gotten their soul yet. Once again, XCOM luck hates me. Yeah, Seventh Saga, if I remember, is a little bit on the hard side. It is very much of that error of, here's a giant map, we're not going to give you any idea where to explore, just wander off until you find a random encounter that kills you, and then you know you have to go another way. Except Jake Solomon. He gets 99.9% .9 accuracy. Oh, speaking of which... Anyone excited about the Firaxis game? Oh, What's the drop rate on that? Also, this is just very sus right here. <laughs> I've long since retired from trying to do like those super masochistic challenges in RPGs. Like the Final Fantasy VII, um... What was it? Uh, Dodge the Lightning Challenge? Yeah, they're making a Midnight Sun. It's supposed to be like a... Um, I want to say Slay the Spire type game. Action? No. Like RPG, but with... What the hell? A focus on cards. Based off a, a Marvel property, I believe. That's not going to help me. I think Jake Solomon is heading it up. But we all know the real answer is that they need to call me when uh, XCOM 3 is announced. Tactical games. Anyone here played, um, what was it? Uh, the Gears of War one. Wait. I believe we're going in a circle now. Uh oh. Okay, good. 
There's one thing that always drives me crazy in these games. It is the whole Lost Woods scenario. When you have to try to remember which path goes where. Alright, we went up. That just takes us to another route. Or takes us back to the uh, warp loop. So then this... Alright, that... I am fairly sure is a challenge for the um, true ending. And I'm also sure we don't have the ability to go there yet. Okay. We need to get back down to the Hanging Gardens. Oh god. Like, go right and then right. Surely that should loop. Come on, Manticore, give me your soul. Mm-hmm. Well, if I keep going one direction, surely we'll get there. I thought I saw a soul bounce. Okay. We're back here. I need to go to the right. I can't jump on these guys. Oh, yes, I can. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's on a slide. I am excited that Square Enix is putting out their games on PC now. Did I go here yet? Okay, so don't go into the upper right door. Over here. Why do I feel like falling all the way down was a mistake? <laughs> we'll have to do a uh, Final Fantasy VII uh, remake play at some point. And uh, tape a uh, shark down will be forced to watch it. Like one of like those uh, tortures. <laughs> oh, there's our map. Well, that didn't help me at all. Probably re equip. There's it. Uh, no, we don't want death, we want this. Oh, there's our row. Mm hmm, one. the whole point of coming here. Well. That's the gardens. Build a chicken. Hmm. I, I just need to get a swear filter put in.
So we have to go... Here. Alright, so we still need... Yeah, so this is the underwater. This should wrap around to the right. Well, OBS should be 60 frames. I don't know about the game. Oh, great, we're on the boat. Uh oh, ooh. Just barely made that jump. Oh god. Hmm. Hmm. How fleshy. You nice. Okay, and still no soul. Oh no. We're right at the bargain. Hey, get back here. Whee. Well, that didn't work. Bouncing off of it. Hmm? That's weird. There we go. Hmm, can I make that now? Oh. That can't be good. Ooh. That's it? Ooh, a gun. And finally shoot some guys up. Mm hmm. Is this safe right here? Hmm. <laughs> No, I'm not getting enough hype. <laughs> mm. I'm annoying horses. Oof. All right, we get to a save room. No way I'm making that. Oh, never mind. That was a miracle. No, Millicane. Hope I didn't need that boat. How does it breathe fire underwater? Oh, I need to stand on water now. There we go. Hey. Hm. Hmm. Let's see. There we go. Oh, the boat's back. Hm. Uh oh. 
swim again. No, that's not right. There we go. I'm sure he did. <laughs> That's an easy way to get through there. Would like a save point, please. Hmm. Those two routes should connect. Oh. Never played Chrono Cross. That was a decent finisher. <laughs> mm-hmm. Don't forget the uh, bonus uh, collector's edition, too. Hmm. You stop that. Very handy here. At least when it turns on the stone. Okay, so we're over here. We have to go up and we have to the left as well. The hell? I do like when the bosses turn into normal enemies to give us a chance to gain their soul. Up it. Yeah, that's what I heard. I am not gonna get lucky with those, all right? Or am I? Oh, it's definitely a counter. Okay, how do you shoot fire underwater? Now we're getting more souls though now, which is good. We should be nearing our next boss. Wasn't this a boss in Devil May Cry? Yep, I did beat the original Chrono Trigger. Cool. Oh. That model is so damn annoying with that hitbox. Okay. Oh, hello. <laughs> Look at these little guys. be nearing, besides a save point, our next boss. We still have the hell section to get to. Run into the 
these guys. You. Alright, so the... Let's go in a complete circle again. Hm. Hm. He knows how to use his shield. Damn guy. You. Die. Oop. Give me something good here. That's not good. <laughs> Here. Where is this like the only room where we can fight these guys? It's always the annoying part when you have to swap these powers out. Solid. when I just like casually bump into them for all this damage. There we go. Hmm. Wait, is this where we came from? Yes. Try and uh, speed run my way back. And it got a little breath of the wild. Right. I'll regret this, but we need to go back and get some health. There we go. Maybe these guys will give me their soul at some point. Oh. Die. And the boss of this area should be like very close here. Oh. Nice. That's not haunting at all. Jeez. There's one. <laughs> there we go. Oh, nice. 
I can shoot out of ya. It's like a fruit loop. Seems to do good damage. Alright, and then this connects back up. Mm hmm. Yeah, that kind of design that we saw, like the Swords of Ditto attempt. Okay, who the heck is Rahab? Hmm. Oh, of course, the boss has gotta be further down. Now those fruit loops seem to do good damage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Swords of Ditto had an interesting concept for that kind of like Zelda Road design. Nice. Oh, I can punch people now. Nah, I did not. Okay, where am I going? All the way down. Of course, the caves always lead to the hell. The hell is that? Oh, I go far right, don't we? Hmm. Pretty decent attack. Seems to hit multiple times. I have to go all the way back. Ah, of course. Then stop the Mandr Mandragora in time. Uh oh. Fruit Loop didn't work that time. Uh oh. That, I think, is the guy we need for the. Our soul, the Arc Demon. Did I do this exact section in Circle of the Moon? Can I make that? Yeah. Hmm. Swarp to a save. Don't hit me, please. Throwing apples at me. Oh, we got Fruit Loops and apples. It's like the perfect combination. <laughs> Never realized like what the color of the name. Oh, do you see that right there? In order for us to solve this puzzle, we need that specific spirit. And that one as well. But we don't have them. Which means that most lately, if you guys want to see me play this more on stream, or go for the true ending, I'm going to have to do some off-stream soul grind. Oh, come on. Ow. The devil just backhanded me. Oh. Uh, let's 
see. Left is probably right. <laughs> nope, I already got your power, buddy. We're good. Water. Of water. Uh oh. If you haven't seen the Swords of Ditto yet, Dark Engine, I would definitely check that one out for that kind of design. Because that was the one that kind of convinced me that it could be possible to elevate that further. Right, let's try it again. Alright. Gotta find our next route. Ooh. The buffalo turned to uh, a nice little meal there. <laughs> well, they actually made the game. You have to make it first. <laughs> This has got to be the route to our next boss. That should be a save. Uh oh. Dun dun dun. Oh, so uh... Alright, so that... Is this the right way? Okay, that's the route that takes us to the Hell Zone. But what we need to do now... One, not die. Ooh, Barfay. Oh, it's pudding. Mm-mm. Wait. Hmm. Hmm. Die. Oh, that could also be our uh, demon friend, too. Uh oh. Oh, no. I know what boss is about to come. Ooh. We got a Legion coming. Always one of the most like visually distinctive bosses in the Castlevania. Alright, please let there be a save. There we go. Yeah. 
You're a master of my fruit loops. So far from that thirty thousand. They're all going. And this guy was getting featured in the Castlevania Netflix show, too. Oh, good. Just a giant floating ball of souls. Honeycombs or Fruit Loops. Oh, I can't just slide in him to kill him. I have a few minutes of smacking before he starts to break. At least let me uh, break them into face these other little parts. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know, I feel like we are either under level or these bosses are just far more tankier. Than I remember. Come on. Oh. I mean, you would think doing a hundred points would be enough. Oh. Hmm. Wow, big whopping three more points of damage. <laughs> I can just reach and just keep back step slashing, can't I? Hmm. There we go, finally. Now we can start actually hurting him. Uh oh. Ooh. I'll be careful, I'm gonna start bumping him now. We made things worse. Come on, where are you? Oh god! He's going super monkey ball on me. Oh! Ow. Uh oh. It knows how to change direction. To say he's almost dead. There's that one guy hanging in the corner. 
Oh, here's another class game. They were talking about having unique or very special programming. Who here has played the Chaos Engine? You please die. Well, I hope so. At least it's in the library of Runa where it's not guaranteed where it's not guaranteed that you get their power when you beat them. Ooh. The bouncing again? There we go. I need to actually bounce the other way. Oh, there he is. Wait a minute, are the heads free? Huh. There's your. It's a soul within a soul within a soul. Now we have triple laser. Okay. We saw the hell route to get to. Just killing all these coffins. There we go. Why worry about bad guys when you just use a tri-beam on them? Uh-oh. Nope, I couldn't slash that. Money... I'll take it. Boom. All right, so we still need like our super jump. We need to find the two remaining clues. Oh god. And I need more death beams. Mm, that little guy, the money he was carrying was bigger than his entire body. What's the soul? That's the soul that we need to go to the room that's like kind of three quarters of the way up, right next to where that save and that war point is. I mean, this may cost a whole lot of magic power to use, but I mean, it just kills everything. Keep throwing daggers in my back. No more Legion. What's our progress? 73, not bad. Okay, so we have to go back to the left. And while we're down here, we might as well go to the hell section. Because that should be where we get the Archdemon's power from. And we need to farm that. Yeah. Unfortunately, I didn't play another Metroid until after Nintendo went after them. Oh, hello. There you go. I still need to play the actual Nintendo remake, too. That was an easy kill. The 
Any more souls? Oh, nice. Okay, so we have to go up. And to the left. Yeah. We gotta say that, of course. Has there been any new information regarding uh, Mega Man Maker? I guess I should go down first. Wait. What is this thing? <laughs> oh my god. There's a JoJo reference in this game. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't be surprised at this point. Yeah, there is a uh, Mega Man Maker. Although, it's been a several years. That's it? That's all that's down here? I expect a JoJo reference in Neon Continuum. Yeah, it is a, a fan game. So we're gonna go to the Gladiator. I still need to get whatever it is over there on the right. And then up. Oh no. Oh god. The skeletons have Kamehameha's now. <laughs> it's a claw with a knife out of it. The arena is always where the enemies hit the hardest, or one of them. I did uh, try out the uh, free game from the uh, Christina Love, uh, who did an analog of hate story on my own last night. It seems like a decent RPG, but I'm seeing people feel very polarized about the gameplay. Oh, I thought I'd kill before I get its death beam off. Oh, not you again. That's a big axe. Okay, where am I going? And more importantly, where is there a save? I really like this guy's soul. Hmm. Yeah. But I've been really waiting for... There's a, a fan patch or fan revival of, um... Uh, Clockwork Empire says so just disappear. Oh, it did release. That's nice. Right. I'm gonna head over here really fast. Oh, I got her. Come on. Die. Because we do need to get that. And it was also giving me an excuse to go save. Mm. Oh, we still need uh, these characters, too. The question is, will I actually get their souls? <laughs> Isn't that just Boogerman? <laughs> Get that soul that I need, please. It's one of these two. I'm just not sure which. Hmm. Ah, that 
sucks. At least Nintendo let you, like, change and mutate or, like, do stuff to them. No, you don't. Bye, rabbit. See, now we can go over here. See, one thing about this game that you don't see because it's not on the DS... ...is that they showed you what the weaknesses of the enemies were on the bottom screen. And it's so handy in terms of just being able to quickly know what to hit them with. Hmm. Hello, Archdemon. I think that's my target. What weapon? Oh god, that's a... That's a thin... Uh, or that's a very short blade. Alright, so there's clue number two. Is the king of bats. I think we do need to fight this guy. Because one of these demons and their souls, or a demon soul, is required. Fill my health too. Mm -mm. This guy needs to behave. All right, I'll go in and refill the health. Just be on the safe side. All right, we still need to go what's down here, don't we? And we just murder the maid. Yeah. I mean, Nintendo has to know that there's people who want to have, you know, the Super Mario Maker experience for their other games. Oh, it's like Mario, you can do multiples. Or Nintendo will sell you DLC for them, too. <laughs> yeah. And it, it is required for the quote-unquote true ending. Which is annoying. Can we please get lucky? No. Well, now I'm not sure what the King of Bats is. <laughs> I love this slide being the kill. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, there's a Link to the Past randomizer that I know a lot of people like. Hmm. What is our time? It's about 12 20. We got maybe another 10 20 minutes and then we'll say goodnight for tonight. So if you guys want to see more of this tomorrow, we can do it as a double stream. But the main game for tomorrow will be Unmetal, for sure. I hate how I'm, I duck underneath the hand, but then it hits me as he uh, recoils it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that uh, the Shimigami Tensai game, the Nocturne re-release, is on sale for 33. I don't know if I'll pick that up. I'm still hoping, uh, I'm still eyeing the Ack Razor remastered too. Hmm. All right. Because I know we do have to go to the Hell Cavern, where we'll definitely find that guy. We'll push a little bit forward that way. And that should take us right to time. And thank you for all the people showing up for the first time too tonight, it's been fun. <laughs> Yeah, just like that, um, the one from Ace Team. Jeez, where will I ever get their soul? I need to go back and prepare my, uh, list for, or prepare my strategies for Library of Ruina. Because you guys aren't helping me beat that one. <laughs> Although I'm starting to doubt that game actually has an ending. Thing I can like get underneath that. Ah, I need to switch again, don't I? <laughs> the only thing that's left in Library Runa is about a, I think, sixteen, fi sixteen different boss fights. It's just that simple. Oh, come on, I think I thought we could like get right through the floor there. Yeah. And no one's ever managed to like elevate that. And if we're seeing remakes and returns, someone needs to convince Capcom to give us a new uh, Demon's Crest. I mean, they brought back Ghosts and Goblins. And that gave to me on the first try. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. I'm trying to yeah, I can figure out where our save is. Where tiger, a werewolf, and a were panther. Badass uh, cloth, isn't it? 
One of these has gotta be the save. There we go. Alright, at our rate, we should be nearing the boss. Huh. Is that boss or is that just an arena? Oh my god. His feet are kicking me. Oh no, that's his. No, it was his feet. Jeez, I am real glad we saved. Take your poison. I mean, we in almost three hours, we did do 75% of this game. Alright, let's try another round. This was a nightmare of a room. <laughs> that was good. And our reward... Giant Sword Spear. Okay. Now the bad news, I need to get back out of this room without dying. Gotta uh, save my loot. There we go. Whew. So that was the ultimate sword. I wonder if up in the top one's the ultimate armor. Almost. I think the safest thing. <laughs> yeah. Again, I think a lot of people look down on the Game Boy. The whole Game Boy to probably like DS age. I think they're very lesser games, but they are quite meaty. That was easy. Yeah, if only I got a commission, right, for these game sales, I would be so much better off. This is why we need to convince uh, Konami and Capcom, all of them, to make me a super influencer, right? Yep. Love my Game Boy. Oh no. with this. Wee. There better be something really good in this hallway. It's the same damn suit! Oh wait, it's a different... Uh, tux. Alright. Uh, I asked for ultimate armor. I got ultimate armor. Oh. 
Thank you. I gotta not get stomped on. Here's a question. Who here is interested in that Nicktoon Smash Brothers game? Like, a lot of the things I'm seeing out of it look like decent for a PC game. I mean, that is definitely like mining the same nostalgia as Smash. <laughs> ah. I'm reading chat, I'm getting stepped on. There should be a boss fight here. We got the ultimate weapon, we have the ultimate armor. And the cloak just made ramen. Ah. Looked interesting. And there's our boss. Alright, one more. Oh god, what am I doing here? That's a lot of Kamehameha beams. Woo! So, I'm sure everyone watching this right now is very excited about the Mario movie, right? I like to combine beams. Let's see, what about you? Yeah, it seems like it does a little bit more damage. You know, for an ultimate challenge room... It doesn't seem all that challenging. But what is with the D-pads? That's kind of mean something, right? Oh, nice walk right into spikes. Hmm. The real question though, who will they get to play Wario? Because <laughs> if Wario's not in the movie, then no dice. Alright. Yeah, we are getting there in terms of time. Oh, this fight. I always found this boss to be visibly, visu visually impressive. There we go. Not that guy. This guy. What am I hitting? Oh god. I'm gonna get my butt kicked, aren't I? Well, they gotta save him by sequel bait. Oh, I am dead. Oh, come on, this just wasn't even doing anything to hit me, or cause damage. Ooh. I think I like Legion's death being better. I think he just, like, spanked me there, didn't he? Hmm. Oh, I just bit my lip. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Ow. I bet he would be a really good raw paper scissors player, wouldn't he? <laughs> Am I? Is that a mustache or a beard? Oh! Pfft. Damn you, hitbox! Oh, 
No, that's not gonna work. Uh oh. And look, there's my laser eye. I am off pattern here. Oh, Ooh, almost. <laughs> All right, I think I'll uh, resist the item hoard and use my potions. Will this guy give me his soul? Hmm. Well, his hands are definitely hurt boxes. really hate this guy's hand boxes. Oof. I'm getting horrible patterns here. Oof. If I grow my beer out like this, I'll be super strong too, right? Is that how this works? <laughs> hmm. I'm using Headhunter, right? No. Well, that would help. Barely. Seems like the stress, you really cannot stay in the middle. Or he's gonna fist the cuff you. You even see like the veins in his arms. There we go. Now we're in a good pattern, I hope. Should be go into eye laser phase. All right, Tice. Thanks for watching, and have a good night. Out. There we go. Mm We will play this somewhat safe. What if I just do a single jump? There we go, gone. Yep, exactly. Thank you, Shark. And now I got his hands. That's it? Alright, and then your soul... That's the uh, form we need for Dracula. So we need the giant bat, you need the arc demon, I believe, and you need one more soul, which will then grant you uh, the good ending, or the true ending. But now I can fly. Oh look, there's Jay. Hmm. 
Just so happens. The other clue is that the three souls are clue to the three different uh, classes that you can equip. And there's our Belmont. Here's a question of... Yeah, exactly. Here's a question for the Castlevania lore experts. Does Julius Belmont appear in any other Castlevania games? So where were you when Dracula was killed in 1999? <laughs> we all remember what we were doing when we found Dracula was killed. They never tell us their hunches. Yes, yeah, Soma. A lot of stuff happened in 1999. Or they know about the uh, Dreamcast being released. One of the, uh, when you beat the game, I think you unlock the you replay it as Julius. And then it just turns into a Castlevania game. <laughs> Castlevania becomes Castlevania. So with the ability to fly... We can unblock... Where's that other route? Over there? No. There's a whole lot of routes that become open to us now that we can fly. Hmm. I think it was right in that middle part. Alright, but we are knocking on time here. So again, we'll return to this. As well as do Unmetal. Starting tomorrow, we have our live show with Shark at 4 p.m. and the game stream at 9. E.T. Fire Sword. Mm -hmm. Fly Robin Fly. Big X. Ow. What is that supposed to be like from a mythology standpoint? Lying with in a wheel. Alright, so these areas all connect. I know there's a hell section. Because there's always one in these games. Oh, yeah. Wait, that's not the same giant skeleton. It sucks at the JoJo hand. It's just not that good. Oh my god, this guy won't die. What are his bones made out of? Wait. This whole hallway was just to fight that one skeleton. <laughs> okay, how did you block my super punch, buddy? Careful. Hey, hey. Oh wait, is this a better cloak? It better not be. Wait, where is it? 
Oh, here it is. You look a rubber ducky. <laughs> what about the uh, silver sword? Okay. So, from here, there's only two more spots we can really do. And we'll end things there. Made some really good progress, though. I doubt, even if I was going like a full four hours, I could beat this game casually in one night. Especially, again, going for the true ending, because that requires luck. I just don't think this power is worth it. Alright, so this is the last room. I bet this takes us to that fire sword we saw earlier. But still a pretty exciting night in terms of people uh, tuning in. <laughs> oh, hello. You know he's beefier because he's red. Minotaur souls. <laughs> I just got street fightered. There better be actually something at the end of this hallway. Alright, well, I guess this is the fire sword, right? And it's worse. Anything that's left is that room. And then we gotta head to the save. Actually, I don't need to head to a save room. I can use the replay system to save it wherever I want. Ooh. Off by one. That's it? Hmm. Okay. Uh... Just thinking to myself, where do I want to save the game at? Probably the one southeast. Mm-hmm. You just never know sometimes where you'll meet people. <laughs> okay. I am going to save it up here. This way, either before the stream or at the start of the next time we play, I can at least grind those souls that I need. Stephanie. Man, will I ever get their soul? Poke. Poke. Oh, wait, I can turn to a bat now. I ever have to equip those uh, water things again. Okay, there's the Valkyrie soul. But that's not the one that I wanted. I know, like, speedrunners, I think they manipulate the RNG in order to try and guarantee the souls. Oh, well, speaking about hard Sega games, one of these days I want to play the Super Monkey Ball. Because that's some real masochism there. All right. I think this is as good a spot as any to end on for tonight. We've only gotten 28% of the souls? Hey, 
Man, we are doing horrible there. Alright. Now the fun part. How to exit out of this game. There's Dracula X. Let me play all the music. All right. All right, boys and girls, that is going to do it. I'll get this sent over to the YouTube channel or to the second uh, YouTube channel. We are going to say goodnight here. If you are new, still tuning in, thanks. And be sure to do all the liking, subscribing. Check out the main channel, the gameplay channel, all the channels. Like we said earlier. And to the Sharks as well. And like we said earlier, we'll be back for our Monday show at 4 p.m. ET. And for a game stream at 9 ET. Come back for daily discussions on game design here. And on game wisdom, where some of the are on the science of games. Until next time, everybody, take care.